Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make some vegetable lo mein. This involves a little bit of prep, but the cook time is really fast and it's absolutely delicious. So join me as we make vegetable lo mein. So this recipe is great because you can throw in all kinds of different vegetables, whatever you like. But even though there's a lot of prep, it's really quick. So this is how I did the prep for this dish. Three carrots that I've trimmed, um, peeled, and we're just going to shred those in our food processor. Okay, next we're gonna slice up some um, green onion, and I don't kind of do it on an angle. And you want, you know, just kind of medium-sized pieces. And I have a whole bunch of green onions. Um, actually, it was a bunch and a half from my store. You can chop as many green onions as you like. I happen to love them, so. I put a lot in there. Okay, so we're going to cut up a little celery. This might not be a traditional ingredient, but I like it in there. And we make it how we like it, right? So we're just going to cut it a little bit again on the diagonal just to make the pieces a little bigger. It'll give us a little crunch. Okay, so I have five cloves of garlic that I'm just going to slice. And be careful because you can cut yourself pretty easy with this. I've already peeled them. I'm just going to kind of thinly slice them. If you like a lot of garlic, put a lot of garlic. If you don't like garlic, then don't put garlic, right? Okay, so we're just going to chop up some bok choy. And I'm doing this the same way. I'm just doing it on an angle. I have no idea why. I just like it like that. Cut peas, and I've pretty much rinsed these. And what I do is I just take off the ends, just because I want to be able to inspect each one, verify that we don't have any bad ones, like that one. Okay, so now we have some bean sprouts that I've really carefully and thoroughly washed and I've had them draining. So we're going to go ahead and just put them in another bowl so they'll be ready. Okay, so next we're going to deal with our noodles and I really like these twin marquee. I get them at my local international store. These are actually already cooked. These are basically lo mein noodles. Um, you can um, buy dried, or these are fresh. You can buy dried ones and just boil them according to the package directions. I really like these. They come in the refrigerator section, and they're really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. And I've got two packs because I'm making enough for a little snack today and I'm going to take this for my lunch for this week and we're just going to break these noodles up so when we go to stir fry they'll be ready for the wok. One of the things about wok cooking is you really need to have all your ingredients prepped in advance because it moves really fast and if you don't have something ready, some things can burn while you're getting things ready. So you want to make sure everything is absolutely prepped and ready to go before you start loading that wok up. Okay, so what we have here is a Breville wok. It's an electric wok. 
Um, you know, the best woks are carbon steel. You can't really get it that hot on my stovetop, at least, um, unless you have a certain kind of burner. This works pretty good for me. Um, and let's see, we're going to use Eric's little tester here to see how hot it is. And I don't know if you can see this. We're at about 560 degrees at the very bottom. Um, if you go up towards the side, it drops a little bit to 350 degrees. Um, so we, are, we have a very hot spot in the middle, 560 degrees, right? So we are, I'm going to turn it down just a little, and we are ready to rock and roll. So I have all our ingredients back here in the order that we're going to put them in. Um, you really want everything prepped and ready to go so that because this is going to move really fast right so we're going to put a little bit of canola oil in here just a little bit it is a non-stick wok but we're still just going to put a little bit of canola in here and we're going to let that just heat up a second and the very first thing i'm going to put in believe it or not is the garlic i'm going to be doing this in two stages so i'm going to put half of my ingredients in here and we're just going to put this in here we're going to flavor this oil up we don't want it too long in here because it will burn the next thing we're going in with our celery and you want to keep this moving Woo! smells good We just want to cook that we kind of want it crisp so we just want to cook the little edge off of it um, turn it back up a little as you put your ingredients in it's going to cool your wok off a little bit okay so next up we're going to put our carrot and we um, shredded that with our food processor. You can um, just buy pre-shredded carrot in your produce department if you don't feel like shredding it. I like using our food processor, so I went ahead and did that. So next we're going in with our bok choy. So next we have our snow peas. I'm going to keep this moving. Looking good. This is going to be nice, huh? So next we're going in with a little bean sprout. Okay, so now we want to add our sauce and you can make a little sauce out of soy sauce, a little ginger, a little bit of sugar, um, even a little hoisin if you would like. I really like this. It is by Semka, Semco and it is um, called Hangshin um, Gourmet Seasoning and Stir Fry Sauce. This is actually my favorite. One of the reasons I like that is it doesn't have any fish sauce in it. And I'm not really a fan of fish sauce. So this is fish sauce free and I really like it. And you can make your own, but I just happen to so much like this one. I get this at my local international store. So we're just going to go ahead and put a decent amount of this sauce in here. I really don't measure just because it really depends on how many vegetables and how many um, noodles you have. So I just put in about that much. And we're basically just wanting to heat the sauce. And drop in some green onions. We're going to cook that up. And we're going to go ahead and put our noodles in. 
So we have our noodles and we're just going to go ahead. We're going to put about half of these in here. I'm going to go ahead and stir fry these with the noodles in here. going to put in a little tiny bit of spicy version of our it's the same stuff it's just a little spicy and it's pretty spicy so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit in there to give us a little bit of heat okay now let's try this it looks really good got a little snow peas a little bit of carrot a lot of noodles right <laughs> i made a bunch because i'm going to eat this for lunch this week so let's try it mm. <laughs> it's really good it's still kind of crunchy um let's try some of these snow peas Mm. <laughs> mm. You can hear me crunching. It tastes really, really good. It tastes, it's a lot fresher tasting than when you go out to some restaurants that may not clean their walk enough. Um, it tastes really good. I can't stop eating it. Mm. <laughs> This is great. You can serve it family style. I made a big portion. I'm going to take it for my lunch this week. It heats up great and it's really, really a good dish. If you like this recipe, please subscribe below and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook.com.